All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone who rule well, much peace, mercy, and and and, and, and hope to the hopeful elect. You you know you brothers who are wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord. You few Akwath, you sisters who are submitting unto their husbands, listening to the gospel. In truth and sincerity, you know, those who are waiting patiently, man, for the Lord to send Yahweh Shai to deliver us from this captivity, giving all praises again to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, this is a lunchtime video, and I just wanted to go through the spirit, the two sticks. You know, I'll title this video, and they shall be one stick in mine hand. And I'm gonna read just a little bit of this and just go into it. So Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 15, the world, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came again unto me, saying, moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. So you have one stick for Judah. So you got Levi and um, Judah and <clears throat> Uh, Benjamin, Salaki, <laughs> uh, distracted. So, yep, that's the southern kingdom. That was that one stick. And right upon it for, or then take the another stick, another stick and right upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. So that's the rest of the tribes, the 12, you know, the rest of the 12 tribes of Israel. You see? So you got the three from the southern kingdom and then the rest which would be nine on the other stick. Verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thine hand. And what is this prophecy of? This is the prophecy of Israel returning back and becoming one nation. You see, the gathering of, of the nation of Israel. You grab this precept. <clears throat> um so like here Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 gather yourselves together yeah gather together O nation not desired so this is a commandment this is a uh, part of the prophecy of you know this the nation of Israel gathering you know as as a nation because when when you look at history and how Esau Edom has used these bywords and things and, and, and removing landmarks to separate and, you know, uh, divide the Israelites so that they're, you know, not in unison. And when, when Israel is in unison, man, it's very hard to deal with Israel. So that's why the Lord, whenever he judged us as a nation, he always weeded us out, you know, and, 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 and then he let the heathen come in because, hey, Jake is strong, man. So it says, gather yourself together. Yeah, gather together, O nation, not desire before the decree. Bring forth before the day pass as the chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. And this is that, that warning, right? This is why the Lord is gathering that nation together. Because he's about to destroy this place, you see? And when you go to uh, Ze uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, it says that, that one third of the nation that, that is ultimately uh, the whole nation uh, will be destroyed, man. Uh, one third will be delivered and two thirds will be destroyed. So you're going to have men who knew who knew they they were Israelites. You're going to have men uh, who who actually taught. Then that that are a part of two thirds. That's why it's a fearful thing. You got to fear the Lord. This is all of the Lord. Fear the Lord because they you, your candlestick can be, you know, burned out, you know, then you don't want that. So uh, going back to Ezekiel 37 verse 18 went and when the children and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, behold, I will I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put 
them with him, even the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And that's why I'm going to title this video, because once again, we will be uh, utilized as the Lord's portion. For a while, the Lord has cast us away. We have been shipped away from the, ho the Holy Land, shipped away from his laws, shipped away from, from his name. And, and now, after three and a half days, that spirit of life coming upon us, we got this word, this truth, and we're believing and trusting in that name that we lost and the promises that he made, and he's going to make us one in his hand again as a nation, starting with the elect. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a precept that say, um, uh, staff in my hand. Something like that. Um, uh, I'm not going to be able to. If I find the Lord willing, I can put it in a post-production. But um, something about Jacob is the. the, the uh, is it Rod? Oops. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Psalms 74 and 2. Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion wherein thou hast dwelt. You see? So the Israelites is is a rod in the in the Heavenly Father's hand. To what? Execute judgment on the on the on the, um on the heathen, on the other nations. We were set up to be rulers. We were set up to be judges. We were set up to be lawgivers. But what? We followed the heathen. We worshiped in idols, man. Eating abominations, forsaking the Lord. Not fulfilling our duty of, of why, you know, what the Lord created us to be on this earth. That's why he said, okay, since your fathers broke the old covenant, I'm going to make a new covenant. And that new covenant entails you having new bodies wherein you can't sin, you can't break the law, you can't forsake me, and then now you're going to execute judgment like how I want you to because you're perfect. Now, you still have your experiences that, you know, Lord, hey, I don't know. We don't know. I, I assume we will have all of our, our, you know, memories of our past lives and the things that we've done, who we were, what we did, so that what we, now we have, a personality within that perfect body. You see, judges who know right and wrong, who, who has experienced both right and wrong. So, no, there is no room for um, these heathen. That's the point that I'm trying to get with this video. The Lord's only dealing with Israel, man. These you other nations, you can't get in this. This is a pact. This is a story between the, the, the heavenly father, creator of, 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 of heaven and earth. With his chosen people, those people who were there at the very beginning of, you know, time and creation before the foundation of the earth. So Jeremiah 10 and 16, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. You see that? So, hey, Jacob is built different, man. Jacob will always be different. That's why when we see a so-called white man out there dancing like a, a so-called Negro, style, move, sought, on beat, he even dressed like Jake, you like, no, nah, that's a Jake. <laughs> When you see, uh, there was um, a, a brother did a video about this. This one, I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta go. Um, it was a, it was a little, little a, a, a yellow thing, right? Not yellow, but she was it looked like what to be an Edomite. Her name was something red, red on Instagram. She's a singer, and he was going into how her voice was captivating. She looked like an Edomite, but you can tell by her mannerism, she's a, she's an Israelite woman. Whether it be a northern kingdom or, or southern kingdom, I would assume maybe northern kingdom because 
her vocal range was there, but if that was Eve, you would hear it. You will, you can hear Eve from 10 miles away. You see? But she was an Israelite woman, nonetheless. Now, you got foreign, you got men, women, and children who look like heathen that are Israelites. And that is who salvation is for. It's not for you people, you you Moabites, you, you, you rat-eating, cat-eating, dog-eating, Moabites and Ammonites. You octopus, snails, squid, whatever, eating. It's not for y'all, man. Y'all nasty. Y'all need to y'all need to be corrected. Y'all will be corrected. Thus saith the Lord. And we waiting on Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna give us that that power and authority as it reads in Revelation the second chapter. You see? I will give you power over the nations. And you will break 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 them as a what? The shivers, man. Let me grab that. Salakia. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even as I received of my father. So this ain't for you. It's for us. And because it's for us, we get to whoop y'all ass. You see that? Ain't that lovely? Ain't that just lovely? We're finally going to get a uh, uh, rest from, from working under these damn devils for so long, working under you damn Persians so long, working up under you goddamn Babylonians or you, you Assyrians, whoever, man. Whoever, all y'all heathen, man. We, we've been kept, uh, we've been captives to the Palestinians or the Philistines, I meant to say. Hey, you them Arabs too, man. You you damn Arabs. Uh, don't forget about the Arab slave trade, man. So look, y'all niggas ain't safe. In the kingdom of heaven, y'all gonna get y'alls too. But guess what? When Esau gets, you know, his thousand years of punishment and, and, and he, we dis, dismiss him, <laughs> then y'all can go back to y'all lands. But we still on y'all ass. Remember that. So Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting to the elect, to the, to the brothers who are, are pushing Baba Kusha, stay, stay in tune, man. Stay faithful. Why? Because this is it. This is it. This is it. Stay faithful. Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. And he is going to, he, hey, bro, he is going to show out, right? He's going to show up and he's going to show out. So, Lord willing, we endure until the end. Shalom.